The Organized Crime Drug Enforcement Task Forces was created back in 1982 by an executive order from President Ronald Reagan. The objective at the time was to bring all the forces of the federal government together to make a concerted attack on the drug trafficking organizations that were moving massive amounts of drugs into the country, disrupt and dismantle them. What makes OSADEF unique is the way it encourages all of the agencies to work together, and it encourages them to work in pursuit of a common goal. As our mission has expanded, we are looking beyond just drug trafficking organizations and money laundering organizations to other sorts of a transnational organized crime. OSADEF plays a key role in the President's law enforcement priorities. For example, he gave us three orders. Well, one, uh, to defend and support our local police. Secondly, he said we want to reduce crime in America. And thirdly, he directed us specifically to dismantle uh, international, transnational criminal organizations. And the biggest of those, of course, are our drug dealing organizations. And they have hundreds of millions of dollars, even billions of dollars in wealth. They have their own armies. They threaten the peace and stability of whole nations. And we cannot allow them to strengthen themselves in the United States to bring in more and more addictive substances uh, that destroy American lives. The state and local uh, police and law enforcement officers play a critical role in OSADEF and it has from the beginning. We've always worked together. Through an OSADEF operation blueprint, uh, we were able to bring down one of the largest and most dangerous uh, dark web um, uh, marketers, Alpha Bay. Uh, that's a great example of how OSADEF brought together not just DEA, uh, but FBI, IRS, CID, and ICE from the Department of Homeland Security with many international partners to target a very dangerous online presence. Operation Delta Blues, which was an organization based in Mexico, with ties to Arkansas, but we were able to tackle not only the drugs the guns, the violence, but also a public corruption dimension to it as well, working with our partners. Uh, and that, I think, was a particularly good illustration of the OCDF model and the diversified threat we face. You're not going to dismantle an organization by, by apprehending a street dealer. Or in our case, we apprehend a panga loaded with a ton of pure cocaine. But at the end of the day, you know, where did it come from? Where was it shipped from? Where's the money flow going? And, and where do they spread their tentacles into transit zone countries as well that's creating more violence? What we look at are these uh, organized crime elements becoming ever more sophisticated. Um, and so how do we stay one step in front of and not only one step behind the target? Uh, and I think as long as we are working collectively together to see these emerging trends. And I think OSADEF provides that uh, forum in which law enforcement agencies can collaborate and prosecute those threats. Well, I think it's important that Secret Service joins OSADEF. Has been, we've been a part of it uh, on the peripheral uh, up to a, a certain point, but being now a full-time uh, partner, we've always benefited from the criminal intelligence that OSADEF has provided, and their targeting of transnational criminal organizations that focus on the uh, nation's financial payment systems will increase collaboration between the Secret Service and OSADEF and its other partners. I think as an organization, the Bureau is deeply committed to the idea that partnerships are how we achieve our best successes and it's, it runs throughout the whole organization, but the OSADEF program is a particularly strong example of that. The reality is that in a partnership of different federal agencies and particularly with state and local law enforcement allows us to better share intelligence, cooperators, witnesses, uh, build better cases and have better success. I think we send our agents all over the country, a lot of times in places that they're not as familiar with. And while our agents bring tremendous experience, skill sets uh, and expertise, they don't have the lay of the land. They don't know the streets, the people the nuances, the communities in the same way that state and local law enforcement does. So if you put them together, it goes back to the whole concept of the whole being greater than the sum of the parts. In other words, we're trying to put our two together with everybody else's two and get more than four. When we work together, uh, we can uh, be very effective, seizing assets and sharing uh, the proceeds of those uh, assets. Uh, also a, a key part of the partnerships that that help bind us together in an effective way. All of these things are in pursuit of the same goal, which is to provide combined, 
comprehensive investigations of the worst drug traffickers and other transnational organized criminals and take apart their organizations.